mysterious disappearances piqued my interest a little bit. This is one of those animes where I was looking for something to watch. I was like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do for another video? Oh my goodness. <laughs> But I was like, you know what? Let me give it a chance. Let me give it a shot and let me see how I feel about it by the time I get to the episode 7. At least that's what released at this moment in time. And my thoughts so far? It has positives and negatives to it. But before anything, at least let me get into the story of things and then we can go into all the positives and the negatives. Like, comment, subscribe, it helps. But the story first starts out with the two characters, Sumi, Riko, and Ren. Now they both are just co-workers in a bookstore, right? And apparently that, something I didn't really know is that people just can leave books in a bookstore. And it's like the reverse of like, I guess, a book robbing oh. if you will they just leave the books there and then the bookstore just like sort of takes it and they just have it but the owner of the bookstore or the manager comes up to sumi riko and actually gives her the book now she goes home with the book and does a few things that's like oddly specific one the moon lights out two it's about to turn 12 o'clock and the next day is her birthday three she reads a passage or text out of the book out of her mouth and four for some reason that has something in clown with the book that you find out later is that she's a virgin and by the next day of things, she's walking inside a grocery store or 7-Eleven, if you will. And she actually starts to get younger for some reason. And that's where I end off in the story. Alright, so now that we're settled, let me at least get into the positives. Then we can talk about the negatives. So the positives I do want to give this is the concepts. Now, this show mostly deals with yokai as well as a whole bunch of folklore that comes with the yokai. And I sort of I like the idea of like how they sort of separate it and how they have it structured in a way that like has a really creative way of storytelling. In a way, it's necessarily done right with yokai. So yokai exists in two different ways. The first way is false mysteries. Now, false mysteries are just like the paranoia and the things that you might think in your head like, oh my goodness, is this how it is? When in actuality, it's not because you don't actually know what's going on or the facts of something. Sort of like your psyche adding on to things and making things almost infinitely worse than what it could normally be. Then there's a second one, which is true mysteries, which also gets cut up into two subjects. One is reputed mysteries, which can be confirmed by science. And the other one is genuine mysteries, which you actually don't know. You actually don't know what is going on or what is what or how this tale is actually spun and told and this alone really like makes you like that concept because now you can just not not only have the regular folklore that's already told you can sort of combine things or add different things to that subject to give it more life and just more creativity into what you want to write especially in the series giving the author a lot more wiggle room and making it feel like you can see almost anything by the time you get to the next episode or the next mystery that's about to be afoot then there's also the idea of cursed items that do exist in the world or that also involves some of the folklore or the yokai and just have some of the objects have some of the powers that some of these beasts have had back in the past but to get into the real meat of the potatoes why i really do like this show so far is just the two main characters or at least it feels like a dual main character at this moment in time which is just with ren as well as sumi riko with sumi riko i really do like what's done with her at first where she finds the book and she reads this omen or this poem that's inside of this book and when she does inherently become younger she actually doesn't come into work she's only at home and just writing notes about her novel and what she can do about her novel and throughout episode one we sort of get a little bit of a drip feed of like why she's not like panicking as well as why she just is continually writing this novel and we come to find out that this is actually what she wanted the whole time because when she was young she was actually able to continuously write and had no issues writing and actually novelized a book at the young age of 10 i believe or maybe even younger 7 or 12 and at the young age of 30 at this point she actually doesn't know what to do she actually doesn't know how to continue writing and to continue to make more books and every single time she actually did attempt to make a book and actually put it out they would always tell her oh you should do better oh you shouldn't really be doing this oh you actually just care about your own narrative here you go here's your book we don't want to accept it we don't really like it or we don't think that it's for us or for anyone to be honest and to be honest to anyone that would take a toll on that person they'd be like holy shit what the fuck am i gonna do am i not a good writer is it on me is it the way i specifically do this how the hell am i supposed to fix this now, why does no one want to read my book or why does no one want to publish my book and make it go out there to the public so she in turn has the bright idea of just staying as a child and writing the book not going to work and just staying at home writing this specific book now there's two things that i really take away from this when it comes to her character one specifically that this actually sort of makes sense because from what a lot of people say as us also as from what you can see a child has a lot more creativity they have a lot more creativity and specifically what they want to do and how they want to do it and how they want to write it or how they want to specifically do any other action it's 
especially when they don't have anything solidified in their life to actually make a adjustment or have a specific way of thinking that might counteract their creativity or the way they specifically want something to be done and in turn it's something that's extremely beautiful and extremely interesting to see from a child's creativity then there's also just the idea of being stuck in a past and just having the feeling of that you're not good enough especially after you do that one thing or you get that big old high from uh, doing a big accomplishment but you don't have any afterward you don't have anything that's upwards to that level so you in turn make yourself think that you're not good enough or you're not the best of anything which could sadly leave you spiraling into depression or as well as self-harm as well as just leaving that creative thought process that you had or just moving on to something else differently so when we come to find out that even though it's actually killing her to become young again she doesn't care she actually still wants to continue doing this but then we have good old Ren that comes in to actually save her who is like her friend or co-worker that's in the shop and we come to find out he's more than meets the eye he's not actually a regular person which now actually just leads me to talk about Ren I think Ren is also as well as the secondary main character really interesting when it comes to his character because we sort of get drip fed information this whole time from episode 1 to at least episode 7 at least the time of recording I do like that we just get small little pieces of info and he's like a mystery in himself like we're just trying to figure out or want to know what is he and what is his purpose and what is he doing here showing that he might actually potentially be a yokai himself but also the idea of that not every single yokai is a bad spirit or a bad being especially when he wants to help out his co-worker as well as this little girl that he had found on the way going to a specific area but that itself is already really foggy and we only get like a two second glimpse into what is happening or what happened in that specific scenario but with him not only knowing all the information when it comes to their curses as well as the yokai he himself is a mystery that i'm just waiting to the end of the series to figure out what he is or what's his goal as well as if he's going to survive by the time he gets to the end of the story but now if anything i want to get into the two negatives that i want to talk about this show which is uh it's pretty it's pretty decent it's decently big so the two negatives i have to get into is one the pacing the pacing in the show i felt like when we got to episode five and seven we got the things that like it felt really stretched out that could have been told in five to ten minutes and i felt like we were wasting time until we get to the next mystery and even though i do really like the mysteries when we get into it it just felt like that sluggish moment i just don't want that to happen again because i i almost was like dude what is going on like i don't actually fully care or fully invested it felt almost borderline like a little bit of filler even though we have this happen in episode four to five for the reason i guess of them sort of bonding bonding a little bit and we have a little bit more bond by the time we get to the next mystery but it just felt extremely shut out and a little bit too much now for the second negative right the second negative which is a bit big is just the fan service now i understand that we usually have fan service in a lot of animes when it comes to them seeing a bit of booba or maybe just a manga created themselves or a bit out of this world or a bit horny or the case may be but like it was a lot in this anime like like relax like I, even i'm saying yo chill out like we have women in real life in the hub like i don't need you to actually continue to do this it just honestly felt like it was a bit too much and even a bit uncomfortable at times i'm like okay can we like move on or just like i feel like we're wasting a little bit of time or like yo chill out i got it i get it but i guess if you're into that you're into that but other than that that's really all i gotta say it's only seven episodes out what i suggested i do like the ideas of it so yeah i guess i would suggest it internally but if anything like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye Bye.